My name is Enrique Camacho, and I am doing martial arts photography. It's really only been a year now, actually. I'm, I'm still fairly new, but I've been dedicating a lot, a lot of time to learning as much as I can, practicing whenever I have time. It's been a very fast journey, and I'm looking forward to seeing it unfold and progress. So this is Jake Timoteo. He's a active amateur Muay Thai fighter. He's also one of the instructors at the uh, location that we were at, which was Koa Fitness, which is a mixed martial arts gym. Okay, so he's gonna be fighting soon. Usually when fighters have some kind of match coming up, they wanna have promotion, whether that be photo or video, and I'm always happy to help them out because I actually work at these martial arts gyms, and it's always cool to have that trade where like, okay, I get to take some badass pictures of these guys, and they get to have some cool pictures to promote their fights. With prior experience in Muay Thai, there were some strikes I wanted to see. Coming in, I wanted him to throw a teep, which is essentially a front kick, punches from boxing, so like your jab cross, uh, maybe some leg kicks, body kicks, and then I figured let's get fancy, let's do some knees, maybe some flying knees, maybe some jumping kicks, uh, stuff that will look cool on camera. I think some challenges were definitely the lighting. Uh, oftentimes in gyms or especially martial arts gyms, the lights are not super strong. I brought one Westcott softbox and then a Godox speed light. I really liked the look of having one large fill light. It creates kind of this dramatic shadow on the uh, other side of the, of the subject. There's no way the battery should fail me after 20 minutes. My Godox flash actually died mid-shoot, and what was interesting is I had just changed the batteries before the shoot, so I just replaced them again and it was good to go. You'll never know when a technical hiccup might occur. I think I draw inspiration from online and my peers. Uh, there's a ton of talented photographers, whether it be at school or online, and I see people's work and I strive to be that better. I look at my own work and I review it, and I, I'm always really critical, so when I make a mistake, I try my best to never make that mistake again. My advice would just stick with it. Go out there, take photos, use your friends, your family. Whether you're a hobbyist photographer or you're looking to be the next professional, just always have your camera with you. Just take a lot of shots, always be shooting, because you never know when the next awesome picture might show itself to you.